Okay, gonna fire this bad boy up for the first time. Uh, new, you know, uh, I guess you can call it heart and brain. It's a X5 or 3300 550 can. X uh, ESE. Uh, temporary 25 kg servo I'm running on this. Make sure everything's working right. First time I've used this receiver and battery system new servo but i got a 555 coming this this is going to be in the uh s or the ssd um class 2 build and i'm going to run it on the radio link here so i'm going to fire it up and make sure i get everything right make sure everything's working the x came in the mail today and getting done eating i threw it together and got it soldered up and she should be uh Okay. And beat three times. Now the thing's telling me low RX. Because I gotta get in here and readjust somewhere or another. There we go. And walk through here. To alarms. Enter. Ooh, 9.5. This is a 3S. So, oh, that's EX. Decline. Oh, RX. Oh, yeah. Adjust this to the right RX. You see 3 volts for cell, so like 9.9 .9 volts. Yes, 9.9 .9 volts to 3.3 volts per cell. Okay. So let me shut her off. Shut the radio off real quick. Flip it back on. Let's go in there and see that we're... TX and 11.1992. Have to double check that. Oh, okay. Let me actually take that down. I should have a th I got a 3S in the TX. So let me go. get in the manual and read this darn thing a little bit better. Okay. Let's back out. Turn it back on. Three beeps because it's the three S pack, so still tell me low RX voltage. Not sure why. I was having problems with this thing the other day, I was trying to work it out the phone down here, try something. Oh, wait a
basement. <laughs> unplugged it and it stopped for a second and kicked back off when it was unplugged. like I'm working in the right direction. Uh, let's see, throttle. Yeah. Trim it up a little bit and a little too far. More to spin. by using the trim. Okay, now why is that a uh, little RX? That's an interesting one. I'm gonna have to play with this thing a little bit. That fan just smoking. Definitely putting out some I'm gonna go grab my meter and we'll see if that battery's really low. Or maybe it's something funky on that RX. That thing's supposed to monitor your RX battery, and of course to give you a warning like it's giving me now that it's low, but that's a brand new battery and I charged it yesterday or the day before, so it should be good. Let me turn this on a little bit. You see we maybe get her set up here a tad. So let's do this with it. I'm just gonna keep beeping. I'll be able to see what I got. I'm going to take a reading out of the well, outlet here. I'm supposed to plug in the RX and tell me when my battery's low. And the reading says 12.23 volts. Battery's not low. So, it's something in the radio setting. I'm going to play with this for a second. It's on the RX alarm. Changing a couple of settings here.
Okay, that seems to have done it. I just had everything turned on and took the radio off and turned the radio back on. Show me 12.8 in my TX. second ESC I'm set up here. So I need to go in back and change it on my Model 2. Model 2. I'm going to call that SSDHD. Enter. That's right, okay, enter, exit, and uh, find out where the one for naming it is, number 18, model 2 name is going to be Unfortunately, oh, yes, 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 Okay, I think I got it. Shut it off again. Adjusted the. Huh. Interesting. Off one more time. Uh, you might flash him. Solid. Alright, now it's off. Interesting. I'm going to have to get into that manual. But, anyways, that's a nice servo. I heard it's strong as hell, but that's pretty you know, kind of slow. But I got a 555 coming for it. Alright, well, it looks like we're, uh, oh, that's probably. Hey, God, I had that unplugged. That's probably part of the why it's beeping like mad. Hey, there it is. All right. And once I reset the radio and plug, turned it back on, I forgot to plug the uh, back up a little bit. Hopefully, the focus is coming. 
There we go. Had to replug the battery wire into the ESC. Now that I got that done, the unit, as you see here, give me TX up here and feedback on my RX pack. And this is only the RF or R7 FG radio link receivers that do this. Of course, it's a radio link radio. So there we go. It's uh, Akron. It took me a minute to figure out this radio. But that's it. Yeah, it's uh, ready. Uh oh. I'm going to have to do some motor reversal. Going faster in reverse. So I have to get in the ESC, which is nice because it's the AX system, so it's Bluetooth. And I've got my phone to set up to do that, so I could probably actually, I can minimize this 